With this ring, I promise to never let you face this world alone. I vow to have all the patience and passion that love demands. In laughter and in silence, I'll be by your side. I vow to stand by your side when things get tough and be your biggest supporter when you're excelling, as you always do. I vow to protect you with my life and lay my life down for you and our future family. Tay-Tay, Tay-Tay, no, I don't play about it. <laughs> I know just like life, marriage isn't perfect, but I vow to be by your side when things are up and when things are down. I know that between me, you, and God, we'll figure it out. We always have. I know our time on earth is short-lived, so I vow to love you long after God calls us home to be in the kingdom with him. Although we have our fur baby now, whom we so, so much love, I so look forward to the day when we can welcome our first child into the world and seeing the amazing mother you will grow to become. Our future children are already blessed now because of the type of woman they, they will have to nurture and raise them. I look forward to conquering the world together and smashing every goal we have set out for us and then creating new ones. I look forward to growing old together and being the cool grandparents whom their grandchildren can't wait to visit. I also look forward to eating more of your amazing meals. If you know Tay, you know she can throw down in the kitchen. I vow to always be your rock, here for you through whatever, loving you through whatever, and always finding ways to show you that I love you. With all that being said, I think what I look forward to most in this moment is getting to the part of the ceremony when Pastor Dave can say, you may kiss your bride, so that we can seal this covenant before God, our family and friends, and then walk into our destiny together. I love you with everything that is in me, and we'll love you long after we disappear from this life and transition into the next one. With love, you're Zachy. All right, Zachary. First, let me start off by saying thank you. Thank you for choosing me to stand here with you on this day. We came into each other's lives about six years ago. I was just minding my own business, and here you come. Neither one of us knowing what God's plan was for our lives. One thing stood out about you more than anything else, and that was your love for the Lord. Sunday said I would miss church because of college softball games. I could be sure that you would have the sermon bullet points from Pastor Dave waiting to share with me when I returned. This trait alone spoke volumes to me. I knew that as long as we both loved the Lord and kept him in the middle of our relationship, there would be no obstacle that we couldn't overcome. One thing you hear me say often is, we are a team. This means, whatever you lack, I got you. Minor setback, no biggie, we'll make a bigger comeback. Zach, first I vow to continue the little things. Cooking your favorite meals, watching animal shows on Netflix, and nursing all your boo-boos as if you're one of my patients. I will listen to you when you need to talk, I will love you faithfully through the difficult and the easy. I will laugh with you in times of joy and comfort you in times of sadness. I will love you for who you are and will help you to become all that you can be. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them as if they were my own. I promise to give you my love, my honesty, my trust, and my commitment. You have taught me that two people join together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You're, you are my soon-to-be husband, my love, my best friend, and today I give you all that I am and all that I have. Love and happiness all the days of your life. Congratulations. Love you. 